Hello friends, good morning. Today's video is focusing on reconciliation of open invoice, open bills, and then, you know, partial adjustment of, you know, amount towards bulk payment or lump sum payment. So in Odoo, uh, sometimes uh, how we can handle, you know, uh, this reconciliation and keep open amount to customers account like own account with partial payment partial reconciliation so this is odu 18.3 where we will see a whole new you know interface from bank and you know i have few invoices to start with where i have uh, customers who have open invoices worth some of the thousand of dollars now what happens is let's say azure interiors has two open invoices worth thousand dollar and two hundred dollar and uh, they are making payment of just five hundred dollar a lump sum payment and then asking us as a company to settle maybe partial amount from uh, those you know a payment and then keep some amount on account as a credit so how Odoo will handle in version 18.3? Previous version was not able to handle, but in this version, let me show you. When I go to bank and I keep one transaction like payment from Azure here. This is a bank entry I'm creating manually where they are depositing $500. Now with this $500, now what we have to do is we have to match those amount okay so to reconcile i have two invoices okay i select those and then over here odoo has automatically uh, you know adjust 200 and 300 based on amount but my purpose is i don't want this even so what i will do is i will maybe reduce this to 100 and then for this 300 i will reduce it to let's say 200 so rest amount you can see is settled against the receivable and rest 200 you can see i can even set an account or it will keep open okay. so if i want to set an account it will go into any of the income account there is by default filter available or I can uh, settle, uh, you know, against customer receivables only. So here, account receivable is there. Okay, so which I can choose or this one. So now, either I choose this, it will keep open account receivable. But if I don't choose, then it will keep open that, and then if I want to you know reconcile it will not allow me to reconcile this okay so i have to set one account over here so i say receivable it will set and then my entry is done or i can keep it open but now if i want to see my partner ledger how it will look so for azure interiors now you can see these are the two invoices which creates a debit entry uh, an open entry then 100 and 200 dollars are payment against those and then payment from azure interiors worth 200 you know it's still open so if i want to see this journal entry what it will say it will say account receivable and keep 200 dollar as open okay this is one part if i now go back to my bank and the same transaction and if i remove this and then if i go to my customer statement or partner ledger you can see it will show it will not show anything over here okay so it will hide so i have to set one account then it will be marked as uh, you know open so this is how i can you know still have one reconciliation to made and i can directly say a receivable account has been set <coughs> now let's say uh, Azure is making one new payment, <coughs> payment from Azure. Again, a lump sum payment. 
let's say he is paying again three hundred dollar so now you can see 500 and 300 both are open and this is keep opening the pending balance of 200 and again 300 dollar of payment comes so what i have to do is <coughs> i have to settle you know uh, my bills which is open to reconcile so I, if i choose this let's say 800 then you know against uh, them 300 dollar is set but again i want to have a partial reconciliation and then rest 100 dollar will be going to receivables now if i look at my partner ledger now you can see there are 200 plus 100 300 total amount which is a credit so let's see on partner and here is the customer statement so you can see some amounts are adjusted against invoice some account amount are payment from azure and keep it open like this and then you can see the total outstanding against 1200 dollar against this payment is 400 but those are the partially reconciled so if i go to my invoice statistics then you can see the amount which is partially paid and which is due so total invoice was 200 total invoice was 1000 partially paid 600 and 100 and if i want to see the summary if i go here there are two different payments came here and adjusted against this now what happens is and now customer is saying okay now i am done and uh, let's say customer is uh, you know making one more pay uh, you know we are selling something more to the same customer as your interiors and now he is saying like from my open balance please settle this so what i will do is i will go here okay i will simply remove this line and then i will reconcile against the new invoice so this is invoice number six which i want to reconcile against that okay. so what happens here is against this particular uh, you know invoice of 400 what i will do is i will simply settle 200 and then my entry will be reconciled and from this particular payment you know which was earlier paid then what i will do is i will again adjust this particular line with my latest invoice of six number which will be considered as a partially paid and what i will do is i will say 100 against this six number of invoice so that's done now if i go and check my invoices this is again partially paid but if i go to partner ledger it will all settled off you see so now all the amount are settled and i will have no credit against that particular customer and everything is settled so this is how Odoo will allow you to do own account entries and see as an open credit in total balance and then you can settle those afterwards anytime when customer is giving you further instruction to settle their open invoices against open uh, you know payment which are not 100% reconciled so there may be situation where uh, you know companies are paying a lump sum amount and then uh, asking us to adjust partial payment against multiple invoices of them and then keep going uh, uh, their services or projects or you know any long-term commitment we have so these settings will enable us to manage bank reconciliation very easily in Udo 18.3 onwards where i can keep amount open and it will not be uh, reconciled fully and i can go back in my bank interface uh, bank uh, you know reconciliation uh, window and i can settle that afterwards also hope uh, this setting will help many accountant and many end user and consultant to use this particular interface on 18.3 onwards thank you guys